and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you should be doing before the brand new promo drops. We will be getting the early release content today. Make sure you go watch that video going over the brand new promo that will be coming over today in Madden. Well, coming tomorrow, but the special stream, which pretty much gives us all the information we need anyways. That's, that's what kind of sucks this year. I kind of miss the days of when promos or surprise drops, like tomorrow, 1030. Everything just starts dropping. It was fun. We all got to figure out everything. Knowing everything ahead, I mean, can be cool, but it kind of got rid of the whole surprise factor on the market. Because back in the older Maddens, as you guys do know, it used to be like, let's say tomorrow it's the mover promo. The mover promo drops, and we don't know what's coming out. Will there be sets, packs? Will there be free players? We just found everything out at once. And the fun video to make now, we kind of know everything ahead of time, which does kind of suck to an extent it does help with people because people don't lose as many coins anymore because they kind of know what's coming but it got rid of the factor when like it would things would drop and you could quickly sell some of your players that were about to drop in value or you could pick, you can uh, pick people up for cheaper because you know what's going on or you could even oversell players like you got you pull one of them you got to put them up for 700k because people didn't know what it was they were they were surprised but we got rid of that now i did keep this pack up on the screen because i did pull two mutt hero players which i have a twitch pack not bad quite honestly probably only goes to, like one or two k each but I will take it. Now, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep growing all the way to Madden 21. Guys, it's been an awesome journey so far. This year has been fun, but we got to keep going now. As for today's promo, what will come out? I'm, I'm expecting the promo slash the Easter, the Easter promo. Not the Easter. Yeah, the Easter promo. Now, the thing with the Easter promo is that it would come out a bit late, uh, earlier than I think it should. Just because, like, I feel like they should drop it close to Easter. But this is kind of the time they dropped it last year, so it would make sense. But as far as path to the draft, I don't know if they're delaying that because of the whole concerns with COVID-19 and potentially the draft being delayed. I don't I don't think the draft will be delayed. But if it is, I guess that they're just prepping for that just in case. Or they're just not doing a path to the draft this year. They're going to actually just do a straight-up draft promo. But we have to wait and see, guys. And let's get into the video. So as far as what you should be doing. So if it is a movers or Easter, whatever comes out, I think we might be receiving an end overall player. Now, we've gotten quite a few 98s. Now, I feel like, well, we should be receiving a 99, but they might actually reserve that for the next promo. But as you guys see, for instant promo did introduce 98 masters. So combine that with Ultimate Legends, who have now also have 98 masters. I think we're getting to a point where we're going to be getting our first 99 master. Now, Mahomes doesn't count as our first 99 master. That was a, like a, a special LTD card they always do for the Super Bowl. This could be legitimately one of the first 99 overall masters. So I'm kind of waiting to see what they do in that regards. Because it is about time for us to get that 99 master that uh, where we start getting 99s in the game. So, in my opinion, guys, we might get one of our first 98s of uh, 99s, but we might just get a 98. It's very possible. But in my opinion, I wouldn't spend too much coins into this promo. If it's anything like last year, the Easter promo and the uh, Movers promo was decent. Now, if they do end up dropping a Hopkins, it could be super cool because he's on the Cardinals. If they end up dropping any of those cards, that could be cool. But in my opinion, I don't think I'd spend too much coins on that. I think you guys are better off waiting for golden tickets just to get, give them a give them a look. We will be getting our first golden tickets. Um, I believe it is April 9th, which is six days from today. If I were you guys, whatever comes out today, I wouldn't spend your coins in it. I'd wait for the two ult, uh, golden ticket drops and this week's ultimate legend drops. I do believe you might be getting a Vic pretty soon, as well as a Lawrence Taylor and maybe even a Sean Taylor. I'm waiting for one of those three guys. Do not go out and spend all your money on these ultimate legends right now. Like Lanier is cool, Cunningham's cool. If we get an Easter promo, that's cool, but. You guys want to be waiting for some of the bangers. We're getting later in the year, and you can only have so many coins, guys. And you know that, like, if you only have a million coins, or even, like, I have, like, 700k right now. If you only have that, do you really want to waste on a lane year when we very likely could get a Lawrence Taylor in the near future, uh, Ultimate Legend Michael Vick, uh, Golden Ticket Vick, Golden Ticket Lamar, Golden Ticket RG3. I recommend you stay for that, because we're at a point in the year, guys, where you really don't want to be making changes anymore in your team. Like, you're not looking to buy Brady, then next week buy Vic, and then the week after that buy Golden Ticket Vic. Like, you're not trying to do that anymore, because you're going to lose so much reduction. When you're working with high overall cards like a golden ticket you buy that for 700k and you sell that you're losing 70k right there you buy for a million you're losing 100k you buy for 1.5 you're losing 150,000 coins on reduction alone so you really don't want to be in and out and not to mention this is the point of the year where a lot of cards are already kind of end game so do you really want to be going in and out all the time getting new cards probably not so i'd recommend as far as it goes with the new promo i wouldn't go all in yet now could there be a few good cards yes but I think that we're about to be hitting 99s. I think I'm going to start waiting just for strict 99s at this point because 98s can be powered up to 99. So let's say your favorite player in the league is Byron Jones. He's an exception because he's a guy that pretty much is 99 all powered up and chemed up anyways. Well, he legitimately will be one, but he has all the chems. But remember, the only thing better than a 98 powered up to 99 is a 99 powered up beyond 99. Now, he can't get in higher overall than 99, but his stats will be absolutely insane if you get a card that's already 99 and you power it up, such as Mahomes. Like, 
Mahomes, I haven't even powered up because you don't need to. That's how good 99s are. But if you can power them up and chem them up even more, that makes them just that much more dynamic than they were before. So in my opinion, guys, do not go in on this promo unless there are 99s. I will make a video going over the content, obviously, today. So make sure you check that out and you can see my overall thoughts on if there's any cards worth powering up. But my overall advice for this promo and the forthcoming ones, start waiting for the 99 cards because you don't want your whole team to be chemmed up with 97s and 98s as soon as 99 comes out because 99s, you truthfully don't have to upgrade from that point. If you get a 99 Ultimate Legend Vic, right? Let's just say 99 Ultimate Legend Vic or even 99 um, Golden Ticket. There won't be a card much better than that. For the rest of the year, they'll drop more 99s, but they'll be within a similar realm of cards that you can't power people past 99, nor can you count their stats past 99. So you have to understand that, like, players like these down here, I really don't recommend you even buy them anymore for the most part, unless you're a budget team. Remember, I'm talking to the God Squad teams now. As far as a budget team, yes. If you guys want, this is a perfect time as soon as the new promos drop to pick up some of these guys. Let's say you're a budget team working with a lower, lower overall squad. Yes, when the new promo drops, these guys will come down. Maybe pick up the Luke Kikali you've wanted all year. Pick up the Minka Fitzpatrick you wanted all year. That's fine. But if you're if you're one of the guys who are working like the people who rotate in and out with the best cards in Madden, I recommend you probably just stick with the 98 to 99 filter for now. And I wouldn't even touch them yet. Like I said, I'd recommend waiting just for the pure fact that I think you want to just wait at this point. Now, guys who are exceptions to the rule are guys that are like overpowered, such as like a Night Train Lane. You know, Night Train Lane is gonna be an end game kind of guy. He's super, super dynamic. He probably won't get another card. So Nitrine Lane could be one of the cards you want. Could he get an Ultimate Legend? It's possible, but I don't know if it's probable to end up getting one. So in my opinion, guys, Mahomes 99, that's fair if you want to go with him. But there's plenty of golden tickets coming out pretty soon, as well as I, we're going to be entering, in my opinion, by the latest April 15th, we'll be hitting into like 99 threshold territory where everything just starts being 99. At least we're getting damn near close to that. The way Ultimate Legend drops have worked, we've gotten, I believe, two to three weeks worth of 98s. Which more than likely means we're getting close to probably an LTD 99 and then going into full 99. So that's not too far away. And like I said, we still have some players that are missing like Lawrence, Taylor, Sean, Taylor, Michael Vick, Barry Sanders, and um, Golden Tickets. Now, as far as Golden Tickets go, guys, you're not going to be able to afford all eight. More than likely, I'm talking to the, 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 the general census here, you're not going to be able to afford eight. You probably can only afford maybe one. So look at the list of 20, see who you really want. And then you're going to have to like obviously look at the viable prices and see what is available for them. But in my opinion, guys... It's pretty much the best advice I can give you as far as everything coming up. These cards are great, but I think they're all bait. Like I said, like Cunningham's bait. A human joystick quarterback, the first one. We're about to get a ton. A human, we're about to get a human joystick running back that's like insane, like even better than Saquon. So we're gonna be getting a bunch of, bunch of stuff, which is kind of why I don't have Saquon powered up right now all the way because I, I haven't been playing online, which is why I don't think it's worth upgrading my team for him right now because in my opinion, we're about to be getting a wave of 99s. And once that does happen, I will go all in and start buying them and making a God Squad. But I've kind of been waiting for that. Now, I know it's late in the year, and people probably want to just play right now. That's fine. Go ahead. But we're so close. Like, we're so close to two weeks from now at max being it. And we're all stuck home anyway. So, if you want, go ahead. Play it out. Wait it out. Obviously, like I said, I'm going over the promo today. So, you can check that out and see if my opinion changes as far as some things within the specific promos. But I would definitely wait, especially if you want to open packs of gold tickets and some other stuff. Now, like I said, if there's anyone on this list that you could buy now that kind of goes across, like away from that rule, Christian Okoye is one of them, but maybe as a power pass, not for that price. Uh, Lamar Jackson, again, one of those guys that if you really want, he is super overpowered. Although they are going to have a GT Lamar, so you might want to wait till that drops first because that will drop his price quite significantly, hopefully. Mahomes goes around that rule. Night Train Lane goes around that rule. Deion Sanders as well, who is a 97 actually, but he's one of those guys that it's just Deion Sanders. You can go around that. But as far as Ultimate Legends, I have not picked up any of these because as good as Mean Joe Green is and everything, he's a defensive tackle, obviously, so, you know, we might not get one of them for a while. But again, I might wait for certain positions. Like, defensive tackle, I don't like to be switching. I like to get one and be set in and forget it. So, probably wait on the Mean Joe Green front and probably wait for a 99 defensive tackle. As well as my middle linebacker, I'm waiting on that as well. Only players, like I said, like Dion, Nitrin Lane, maybe Byron Jones is amazing. Like, you can really get around with that. Because at the end of the day, stats are going to be all 99. The only thing that won't be is a man. But if you power up, chem him up, and put John Madden pass defense on him, he will get to like a 97 man, which is close enough with everything else being 99. So really not that bad, but don't go all in right now. I'm telling you, if you go all into the market at this moment in time, with, uh, with we got about to have Easter, patch of the draft, golden ticket, potentially movers, everything's going to be cut into like a one fourth of their value. Well, cut down by one fourth of their value, which should mean some pretty easy pricing within the next upcoming weeks, as well as some different changes. So I'm telling you, this is one of those moments where you buy a bunch of these players right now. And in about a week, you want to change everything. It's going to be one of those, like, months. So I would just wait a little bit, guys. But that pretty much is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm trying to get to you guys my best advice I can give regarding some upcoming promos and what you'd be doing with your coins. That is why I haven't touched my coin stack at all, quite honestly. I don't think it's worth it to me. 
but we have a 99 pass as well so make sure you level up all the way so you can use that when you just like endless players but guys this is about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy today's video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below if you guys have any questions and always subscribe to the channel turn on that only bell boys enjoy the rest of your day make sure to check out my 10 30 video i'm out see you guys later Peace.